not the most friendliest. Yahan aane se pehle, I didn't even know something like this existed. Come, track you down and find you. Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, then hi, my name is Alicia. And if you've seen my previous video, then thank you for sticking around. As you've read by the title, in today's video, we will be talking about my first impression of Netherlands. So I moved here around three months ago, and I think that's a long enough time for you to get to know things a little and have an opinion about a place. Without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Since I moved from Pakistan, uh, the culture shock for me was real. Uh, Pakistan being a Muslim state, things were very different when I moved here, since Netherlands mostly identifies itself as a secular state. So there are a lot of things that I noticed right away that were not very common practice back at home. So I made notes, a lot of them. <laughs> the first thing right off the bat that you notice when you land at airport is the language. Netherlands is a predominantly a Dutch speaking country in key national language be Dutch. Dutch is nothing like Urdu. It has a few words and similarities with English, but not enough that you can understand the You can pick up a few words, but you don't understand So thankfully, here everybody is educated. So English was easy. It was easier. It still is easier for me to communicate. Whether it's a little child or it's like an older person, adult, they all understand English. So it's easier to get by in this country if you don't speak Dutch. But if you plan to move here, I would suggest that you brush up on your Dutch speaking skills a little before moving here. That would help. So the second thing that you notice when you walk out of the airport is the weather. There is a huge difference between Pakistan ka mausam and Netherlands ka mausam. Pakistan is more warm, because most of the year it stays warm in Pakistan and Sardiyan are very short-lived, but here it's actually opposite. I have noticed that here in Europe, people love to travel when it is summer and Summer is like the fun time of the year where people do all these fun activities, they plan holidays, they do picnics, they go to beaches. Summer is like the time of the year which they make the most out of. Now let me talk about the winters. The winters here are really harsh. Like I did not expect it to get this cold. Abito Siraf uh, October But I feel like I have to wear gloves. Your hands freeze, especially when you're biking. So I would suggest that you bring your warmer clothes here if you plan to move here. Now, this brings me to my third point, which is the people. Dutch people are known for being tall, and that is true. By four is actually considered medium to short here. So I've never felt so short in my life before, but Dutch people make me feel that way. <laughs> Okay, on top of being tall, Dutch people are really good looking. And if you don't find tall height and colored eyes attractive, then are you even Daisy? They are very polite and sweet and helpful. So in case you need help, they are always there to help you. You can go up to anyone and ask something or ask for help and they would readily help you, which is really nice. But they're not the most friendliest. Like, pehle do interactions mein they would be very nice to you, but wo ek dam dosti nahi karte. It takes them a little while to open up to you. And that is maybe just my experience, but Dutch people thoda prefer kar rahe hote hain ki they stay within their own Dutch circles. 
I don't know if it's true or not, don't come at me, but that is my experience or that is what I have felt. Coming from Pakistan, that is not the case. Pakistani people are so warm and welcoming. They would never make you feel like an outsider and we tend to become friends really quickly. So I really like that about Pakistani or generally in Desi people. Another thing that I've noticed about Dutch people is that they really put an effort to look good. Even if they're going out to get groceries, you would notice that they're all very well put together. The girls, they have their hair done and they have their nails done and their outfit is always so put together, which on top of them being beautiful, just adds so much more to their already attractive personality. <laughs> Okay, the fourth thing is their bikes. You would see bikes everywhere. People love to go everywhere on their bikes. Dutch people take their bikes really seriously. They have special roads for bikes all over the country. A normal road is divided into two parts. It has two colors. The gray part is for the cars, like, but then the second part of the road is colored in red, which is only for the bikes. Here, their bikes have specific traffic rules and they have red yellow and green lights they have their own road etiquettes that you have to follow and if you don't follow those rules you may get fined the police would actually stop you for violating the signal so you have to be really careful when you're biking around since the bike culture is really common here i have noticed that dutch people are really active no matter how old they are you would see them that they're working out all the time. They go for jogging, they go for running, walking. You, you would see people working out in the street. So it is so cool that it motivates you to work out too and stay active. People would literally work out and go for a jog even if it's raining. They don't let the rain or the weather stop them from being active, which is something Pakistanis, in fact, every other country should take inspiration from. <laughs> Fifth point is the food. When I moved here, I was so excited. I love food and I was so excited to try the Dutch cuisine. But guess what? Dutch are not famous for their cuisine and I see why. You look itna sada khana khate hain. They just want to stay healthy. By staying healthy, they mean eating a sandwich with cheese in it. Literally, only cheese. And speaking of cheese, I have noticed that Dutch people take their cheese very seriously. You would see a hundred different types of cheese here. They have garlic cheese, they have chili cheese, they have pepper cheese. There's a million other kinds of cheese. flavors, but they have different types of cheese. Like the only two famous cheese that we know back home is mozzarella and cheddar cheese, maybe Parmesan, but here you would see a howda cheese and there's just so many I don't even know the names of them. So they love eating cheese whether it's lunch, breakfast, dinner, wherever. They take their cheese really seriously. Okay, since we were talking about food, the next thing automatically comes to recycling. And Dutch people take the recycling very seriously. In Pakistan, mein all we had one dustbin for the entire house. We would throw everything in it. The next day, they would just come and take it away. For Yahapra, things are really different. Here, the trash is divided into five categories. First is your glass, your paper, your organic food, plastic, and the rest of your trash. Her dustbin usually three parts me divided with these, so that's how you dispose it off. Usually, if you do not follow these rules, so there's a good chance that the trash company will come, track you down, and find you. You might be thinking, that's so weird, who has the time for it? Trust me, they have the time for it. Uh, in my building, um, this has happened to a few people who did not dispose of their paper trash properly. They left their cartons because they were huge cartons. They left it beside the bin and it stayed there for a few weeks. Uh, more people came and did the same thing. It piled up into a huge pile and then the company had to take the action and they fined 95 euros to every single person. So you have to take your trash disposing of responsibilities really seriously. We had nothing like this back home and I'm kind of relieved 
but at the same time it has its own perks because this country is so clean and green and i think this is why pakistan needs to definitely take some hints from this Okay, so my this next point is kind of related to recycling, but it's called recycling to another level. Fun fact, 90% of Netherlands is cashless. Now you might be wondering what that means. So here's the thing. Here cash rare use karte. Most of the time people just use a card. I'll put a picture up here or they swipe the card and do their shopping wo bhi sirf usually bure log kar rahe hote so usually the young generation what they do is they have an app for that card in their phones and all they do is put a password and the shops have this machines and touch your phone to that machine and you've done your payments so they don't use cash here it is very rare and the country is so cashless that I have noticed that some shops, especially nail salons and these other beauty salons, we won't be taking customers without appointments, no cash accepted. So you might not be able to get your nails done if you only have cash in your pocket. Welcome to Netherlands. <laughs> Talking about money, that brings me to my next point, which is shopping. It's weird. All the shops here in Netherlands, they close at 5 p.m. It's maximum at 6 p.m. It's very rush, it's cold, the whole country is wide awake. But guess what? The shops are closed. Two shops, Jumbo and Little, they're considered a little late night shops jo ke raat ko jumbo raat ko 10 baje tak khuli rehti hai and little usually closes at 7 pm so these are super stores and you can buy usually edible things from there but if you feel like buying shoes or bags then you will have to consider online shopping ye mere liye bahut bada difference tha because pakistan mein usually hum log 5 baje ke baad shopping karne nikalte hain और पाँच बजे से लेकर रात को दस ग्यारह बारह हैक एक बजे तक हम लोग बाहर रहते हैं कई दफ़ा शॉपिंग करने के लिए ईद के दिनों में या शादी के दिनों में एट्सट्रा आई स्टिल हैवन गॉटन यूज टू दिस न्यू टाइम फ्रेम हियर इफ़ यू फील लाइक शॉपिंग यू हैव टू वेक अप अर्ली बट नॉट टू अर्ली बिकॉज यहाँ पर दुकानें यूजली दस बजे खुलती हैं सो दे आर ओपन फॉर अ रियली शॉर्ट विंडो ऑफ टाइम फ्राम टेन इलेवन टू फाइव और सिक्स पी एम ओके मज़े की बात इवन इफ़ द शॉप्स आर क्लोज दे डू नॉट लुक लाइक दे आर क्लोज ऑल द लाइट्स म्यूजिक सब कुछ ऑन होता है यू गो टू अ मॉल सिर्फ उनके शटर डाउन होते हैं बट यूजली दे हैव दीज ग्लास डोर्स एंड ग्लास विंडोज यू कैन सी इन टू द शॉप्स विच इज़ रियली कूल यू कैन डू अ विंडो शॉपिंग लिटरली थ्रू द विंडोज बट यू के नॉट शॉप But I like going out at night. It's quieter. There are not many people out, and it's just fun. You can you can window shop, and you can decide what you want to buy, and the next day you can wake up early and buy it for yourself, or you can always shop online. Now that we're talking about lights, that brings me to my last point, which is light pollution. Yaha ane se pehle I didn't even know something like this existed. But yes, apparently light pollution is a thing. Since here we are in the city, and the city is always so well lit, like all the street lights are on, and even if there's no one at the shopping store, all the lights are on. So all that light has a downside. देखने में तो ये बहुत प्यारा लग रहा होता है. लेकिन if you want to take a look at the stars or something, you can't because you don't you don't see any stars. इन एट लैंड बिकॉज एक तो बादलों की वजह से दूसरा बादलों की वजह से लाइट इतनी ज़्यादा बादलों पर रिफ्लेक्ट कर रही होती है दैट यू यू डोंट सी स्टार्स द स्काई इज ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज लाइट पिंक इवन एट नाइट सो इफ यू सी अ वेरी क्लियर स्काई इन एट लैंड कंसिडर योर सेल्फ लकी एनी वे सो दैट कंक्लूड्स माई वीडियो फॉर टुडे दीज वर ऑल जस्ट माई ओपिनियन माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंसिस थिंग्स दैट आई हैव नोटिस्ड दीज आर इन नो वे सॉलिड फैक्ट्स और दिस माइट नॉट बी समथिंग दैट एवरीबडी वुड फील के दिस इज़ द डिफरेंस बिकॉज इट्स इज समथिंग दैट आई हैव फेल्ट एंड कमिंग फ्राम पाकिस्तान दीज वर द थिंग्स दैट स्टूड आउट टू मी द मोस्ट सो मे बी इफ यूर फ्राम यूरोप यू माइट नॉट फील ऑल ऑफ दिस इज समथिंग बिग और न्यू 
but I felt that these were pretty major changes for me. So this was the end of the video. If you liked, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That would mean the world to me. And if you want me to make videos about some specific topic, feel free to comment down below. I will be taking a look at all your comments and feedback. Until next time.